someone from the Adobe Premiere Pro LinkedIn forum sent me a clip with some problems and asked if I could help fix it. When I double click on the clip, I open it up in the source window, we can instantly see that there's a problem with uh, letterboxing. The video file was uh, recorded in a 4 by 3 aspect ratio, but the camera was set to 16 by 9 My first instinct is to go to File, New Sequence, and create a sequence manually based on the pro properties of the clip, which was NTSC 640 by 480 I'm just going to choose a DV NTSC widescreen. So click OK. Dragging the clip into the sequence, I'm going to keep existing settings and hit the slash key to open this up, open it up, open it up. Under effects control with the clip selected, motion, scale set to 133. I still got a little black on the left and right, but I'm gonna leave it alone. We could see that it's very shaky, it's very dark, handheld, head gets cut off, so there are a lot of problems with this clip. First thing I'm going to do is go to Effects and type in the word Fast. Grab the Fast Color Corrector, drop it on the clip. You can see that I have a reference monitor open set to the RGB Parade Scope. I have the, I have the reference monitor ganged to the Program window so that whatever I see in the scope is a result of what's showing in the Program window. I'm going to scroll down to the fast color corrector now and under input settings I'm going to crank up the highlights because the RB RGB parade is showing me that there are no highlights. I'm going to crank it up quite a bit, not there. And it looks all washed out now so I'm going to go out to saturation and just crank this up till I get some color back into it. There we go. Now because it's such a low quality clip there's a lot of noise, it's not sharp, there's nothing we can do about that at this point. Any, try, any attempt we try to make it, sharpening it, is just going to look very artifacty and bad. So we're not even going to try. So again, looking at the clip, try to use the warp stabilizer to improve it. But we know that at some point, her head's going to be cut off. But stable is better than shaky. So I'm going to type in the word warp and apply the warp stabilizer to the clip. But wait, we can't because we've already manipulated the clip's size and Warp Stabilizer does not work on a clip that's been manipulated that way. So I'm going to undo that, take the Warp Stabilizer off, right click on the clip and choose Nesting. OK. And now we can apply the Warp Stabilizer. And it's going to work in the background to stabilize the clip and we're just going to wait for it watching the progress over here. We can see it's already almost 50% and then the stabilizing will occur and we'll take a look and see what we've got. Okay, here we go. We can see that, that the warp stabilizers with the default settings, which are smooth motion, subspace, warp, stabilize, crop, blah, blah, blah. It has zoomed in on the clip a little bit, it's cropped it in. And now let's take a look at what it looks like. problems uh, in a society, but as a matter of fact, we, uh, the organization... Uh... Well, it's better than it was. It's certainly more stable, uh, but course you can't fix bad camera work so there you go that's as good as I can do with this clip please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching <laughs>